All right. Hey, hey, you've already seen me work my way up to this point. If you want a slow down version of how I did all that, then you can watch my basic everyday soft glam makeup look. Thanks for being here. If you're new, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. My name is Minna, not Mina, but Minna, and I'm glad that you're here. So I'm going to show you how I prep my eye for this look. We're doing yellow because it's a trend. And I would, I've been asked, I've been not challenged, I was asked, I was asked to do this and I love it. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. They have, this is the matte one. They have one for the face as well. I have the matte putty primer, but it does not keep my face matte. So I know that if I use it, I'm just using it for the fun of it, not because it's gonna do anything. I was feeling dewy after I used it. But right now I'm actually all about the hydration because my skin was feeling a little bit dry. As you saw, I prepped my face with the hydrating, illuminating primer because I wanna be hydrated. And then I use the foundation that is not matte, that dream cover. That was cool. I did powder my face. Obviously, you might be thinking, well, why? Well, to set everything, because I don't want to look greasy, but then you'll notice, if not by the end of the video, it will happen. My natural oils will come through, the dehydration will show, and it'll look very glowy and nice, even though I powdered my face. So the powder still needs to happen and it'll all be okay. So I'm using my finger because the body heat helps it to warm up and spread. Although this dries extremely fast, it's wicked cheap. I like this a lot. Normally I use the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC because when I first started wearing makeup, I only wore MAC because that was like the makeup to wear back in the day. And I'm just so used to the Painterly Paint Pot. But when I saw this, I was like, let me give it a try. And for a fraction of the cost, I do like it a lot. So we're doing yellow. Obviously still need to use transition colors and all the like. So let me walk you through how I'm gonna do all of that. This is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Morphe palette situation. So I'm gonna get this really fluffy brush. I'm putting G Money right here in the crease. It's very important that you are using a transition color when you're doing your eyeshadow. So this color right here is an RNG brown. It's going to transition from my brow bone highlight to my eyelid. So there's obviously a space between the brow bone highlight and the eyelid that's called the crease. And I'm putting this color right there in order to transition it. It's gonna bring the whole look together. No matter what eye look I do, I do a transition color, very important. If you don't use a transition color, that eyeshadow is gonna look crazy. That's my opinion. I like to bring it right here in front of the brow too. That's a really nice technique that I've learned over the years from pro artists. And I'm like, oh yes, bring it right in there. You already have the contour connecting to the brow. Now we have the eyeshadow and the crease connecting to the brow, come on. So now I'm using a brush that is not as spread out. This is from Evita Joseph Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm gonna take an actual orange. This is feeling myself from the same Jaclyn Hill palette. These colors are a lot warmer than you're seeing on the on the computer. So keep in mind that I do have my lights and settings and all of that stuff going on. So you can't see it like I want. Let me see. I want to make my crease orange because orange and yellow go together. Just you got it when you're pairing your colors together, think about what complements each other. And I'm blending that in with my transition color. All right, I want that to spread out more actually. So I'm taking that fluffier brush and I'm putting that on. I want it to go in a bigger area, not just in that tight little section. So here's that. Always tapping off the excess. Very important to always, always tap off the excess. In fact, look down like I am right now to make sure that you're not getting eyeshadow all over yourself. This is still feeling myself. I'm using No Joke and it's a matte yellow and I'm taking this flat fluffy-ish type of brush and of course looking down. We don't want any mess on our face. We've already done our face makeup. Make sure you look down. This matte is like blotchy. Ooh. Maybe I should have used a yellow base, but it shouldn't be blotchy. Like it should be able to work with the way that I did it. Like what the blood clot. <sighs> Let me use my finger. I don't use my finger for matte colors, but let's see. I mean, the finger helps, but I gotta use the finger. Oh yeah, it's gotta be done with the finger. <laughs> like what? There's no other way. Should I bring this all over the lid or should I like leave it right there? Just kidding, I'm gonna stop right there. I like to darken the crease. I'm creating a cut crease, but I'm gonna blend it. I don't want it to be a cut crease because if so, I would have done it a different way. This yellow, what in tarnation? <sighs> yellow must be a hard color because what's happening? I mean, the pigment is awesome on my finger, but I'm getting patches. 
what's in the application. Hello, what? Hi. From far away, and maybe on the camera you can't tell, but this is blotchy. Oh, that's too bad. That is really, really too bad. Oh my gosh, so I'm annoyed and I have to fix this. How am I gonna fix this? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go with G Money again. And I'm looking down, oh, a lot of fallout. Ooh, oh my gosh. Because I used my finger, it made the eyeshadow clumpy. And now that I'm using a brush, everything is falling off. So let me take this brush and dust. This is horrible. Okay, so back to my original thought. Do not use a finger with matte colors. Like what? I mean, not like this. Okay, we're not with matte yellow. Like I've used my finger to apply dark blue or dark black here in the corner, but in this fashion, I haven't, and I'm never gonna do that again. Look at this, this is horrific. This is G Money, again, going back to do what I was originally trying to do. I'm putting G Money, which is the brownish orange color right here in the crease. Bring it in a little bit, tie it in together. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna just stop there because this is not what I wanted. To just turn my whole mood off. Taking some on the powder brush. I wanna fix this section right here. Is that even possible? It's not the primer. I've used that primer to do several looks. It's not the primer, it's it's the color. All the other colors in that palette that I've used, I have not had an issue with. I just do believe that it's yellow because now that I think about it, the last time I did yellow, it was a, it was also a mess and I just forgot and I'm doing it again and now I'm never gonna put yellow eyeshadow on my eye like this again. If I do yellow, I'm going to have to find a yellow base and then literally once the yellow base is down, then put the yellow eyeshadow on top and then there should be no problems. That's what I'll have to do the next time that I ever, ever fix my face to try to do something like this. Okay, so take your powder, translucent powder is preferable and I'm taking a stippling brush because I'm not trying to pack anything on, I'm just trying to dust something off. So this yellow powder eyeshadow that's on my nose, I'm gonna dust off, but I'm gonna go right here first because some of the eyeshadow got right here. So you're just gonna use powder to dust off powder and you just wanna take it off at first. Don't need to blend anything. And I'm actually gonna just put some powder over here. <laughs> that just dusted all of it off and then I'm gonna put my face powder on, on the bottom part of my face after I do my eyelashes. I'm annoyed because like, what is this, hideous. I like storing my lashes in this case. It's so cute and pink and you can store three pair of lashes and then easily just take it out and use it. This is on Amazon if you like, the link is below. So I'm applying the glue to the lash and just putting it down right now because then I'm going to powder my face and then come back and then put my lashes on. And I do have on my list to do a separate video that's just about lashes so you can stay tuned for that. I never talk about the glue that I use because it's like a very taboo but like I see no problem with it so that's what I do. Now face powder I'm going back with the micro smooth Sephora deep ebony is my color. Powder the face make sure everything is brought in together nothing is looking harsh no lines are unblended i'm going to bronze and then contour so the bronzer i'm going to use is prodigy i gotta move fast in case this thing gets ready and i'm not ready Bro uh, prodigy from morphe Ooh, that took a lot i gotta blend that out so the bronzer adds warmth to the face contour adds a shadow and i have a little harsh line right here so i'm going over it and you really could just bronze and call it a night. It's really just all about what look you're going for. I usually do either or. And then I'm using this CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Highlighter in the color Pearl Crush. And for blush, I'm using Raisin. I had to take it out of my palette here. This is so funny. That's MAC Raisin Blush. And I was gonna contour, but you know what? I'm actually into this, like, just bronze. I'm into it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it with just bronzer. And I'm gonna do my mascara right now. I leave that to the end because this It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is really good. And it really elongates my bottom lashes and I don't want it to mess up my makeup. So I leave it for the end and I like to do left right motions and then down up motion alrighty so there's that makes a difference yeah and to keep the lips really understated I'm gonna use Menta Cosmetics hot date liquid lipstick and appeal cosmetics liquid lipstick in the color naked 
All right, I haven't even sprayed my face, literally. And if you can see what I'm seeing, then you can see that I'm seeing some dewiness on my face, like some shine peeking through, which I actually like, because I told you that I'm trying to replenish my skin's moisture barrier. I don't want to be dry right now. I don't want to be Becca Matte Primer, and next can't stop, won't stop. You know, bulletproof dry. I don't want to be bulletproof cardboard dry. Not right now, maybe in a little bit, but not today. The look came out okay. I'm still irritated by this eye right here in general. The application of the yellow just wasn't working. And if I'm remembering, this is my second time doing a yellow look and I did not like the way the yellow applied. I'll be on the lookout for a yellow eye base that I can use and then give this a shot some other time down the line. I'm not in a rush to do it again, but at least I'm hoping that the techniques that I used are helpful for you whenever you're doing your eyeshadow. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. Also glad you're here and thanks for watching.